Chartists are apprehensive in these times since the recovery from Apple's February lows fell short of the previous January highs. The Apple stock opened on May 12th at a little less than $124 per share. That remains a market limit of more than $2 trillion, and now the once generous $0.88 cents dividend is just 7%. And that's where the primary concern comes from. Is it a good idea to buy stocks from Apple right now? Hello and welcome to Upstep Financial. Join our channel by clicking subscribe and hitting that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. You no longer have to wait because the much awaited answers are all here in one video. So is it the right time to be buying stocks from Apple? Stay till the end to find out. Apple Inc. is a worldwide technology company designing, producing, and selling smartphones, personal computers, wearables, and accessories. Apple Inc. trades on the NASDAQ under the stock symbol AAPL, the iPhone, the Mac line of personal computers and laptops, the iPad, the Apple Watch, and Apple TV are among its most popular products. In addition, the company has a rapidly expanding services division, which includes its iCloud cloud service and digital streaming content offerings such as Apple Music and Apple TV+. Since its inception in 1976, the tech giant has evolved into a diverse technology powerhouse. When it comes to acquisitions, Apple's strategy has been to acquire small tech businesses that it can readily incorporate into its growing product range. In 2019 and 2020, Apple was the best performing stock. However, the stock has been falling short by 5%, as indicated by the markets this year. Apple is the most valuable company globally, with a market value of more than $2 trillion, while Amazon and Microsoft have been strong candidates for the coveted $2 trillion market cap neither has surpassed it. Apple Stock News Apple stock reached an all-time high of $145.09 in January, but has subsequently dropped more than 12% from that high. The stock is presently in a correction zone, having dropped more than 10% from its peak. Apple stock has fallen for a variety of reasons. For starters, tech and growth names have dropped in 2021 as investors have shifted their focus to reopening stocks. The stock gained dramatically last year as a result of the stay-at-home trade. Concerns about increased regulatory scrutiny and a probable increase in corporate taxation in the United States also weigh heavily on Apple shares. U.S. tech giants may potentially face greater taxes as the G7 cracks down on tax arbitrage. The new regime would result in greater taxes for U.S. technology companies. According to technical indicators, Apple stock has been trading in a narrow price channel between its 50-day and 200-day simple moving averages, or SMA. The stock has found strong support from the 200-day SMA, which is now at $124.43, and resistance from the 50-day SMA currently at $128.71. For a technical uptrend to restart, the stock must break above the tight price channel. Its 14-day RSI, or Relative Strength Index, is now at 52.2, indicating that it is in a neutral trend. However, the stock has risen above the 10-day, 20-day, and 30-day SMA, showing a positive movement. Apple Opportunities for Growth Investors are asking what the next major growth factor for Apple stock will be as the iPhone industry matures. Recently, two companies have boosted Apple's sales and profits, services, and wearables. Apple's services revenue increased 27%, resulting in $16.19 billion in the March quarter. The App Store, Apple Care, iCloud, Apple Pay, Apple Music, Apple TV+, Apple Arcade, and more services are available. Meanwhile, Apple is being investigated for antitrust violations in the United States and Europe for its App Store policies, including its 30% commission fee. On November 18th, Apple reduced its fee rate for small developers to 15%, perhaps to please authorities. Apple's price fell in the days after the announcement. On April 30th, the European Union's antitrust authority announced preliminary charges against Apple in a case launched by a complaint from Spotify Technology. The European Commission charged Apple with exploiting its dominant position in app distribution via its app store. Apple's shares dropped 1.5% as a result of the announcement. In May, Apple appeared in federal court in the United States to defend itself in a case brought by Epic Games, which accused the tech giant of anti-competitive business practices with its app store. The judge in the case will decide in the coming months. Apple's Quarter 2 Revenues 
Apple announced record revenues of $89.6 billion in the second quarter of fiscal 2021, gaining 54% from the second quarter of 2020. Its financial results for the second quarter of fiscal 2021 were released on April 28th. Net income increased by 110%, resulting in $23.6 billion. International sales amounted to 67% of second quarter revenue, rising by double digits in each geographic area, with revenues in Europe climbing by 56%. Apple's installed base of active devices set a new high. iPhone revenue increased 66%, accumulating a total of $47.9 billion, attributed to the growing demand for the iPhone 12. Wearables, homes, and accessories increased by 25% over the year. Apple gained more than 40 million paid customers for digital content, bringing the total number of paid subscribers on its platform to more than 660 million. This increased 145 million from the previous year and more than doubled the figure reported by the company two and a half years ago. Although demand for digital services has been high during the pandemic, the company's Apple Care customer support services and advertising business have also been hampered by shop closures and decreased economic activity during lockdowns. However, stores began to reopen in the March quarter, and advertising began to pick up as consumer sentiment recovered, according to the company. On April 20th, Apple revealed new designs for the iMac, iPad Pro, Apple TV 4K, and a new AirTag product, an accessory that works with the Find My app to help keep track of belongings. Apple returned roughly $23 billion to shareholders during the quarter, including $3.4 billion in dividends and $19 billion in share repurchases. The firm will repurchase another $90 billion and increase its dividend by 7%. Possible Downturns Despite its extraordinary performance and high profit margins, AAPL faces a few obstacles. Its items are relatively expensive for starters, shutting many potential customers out of its products and driving them to rivals with lower prices. Second, growth will become more complex as new markets mature and Apple's products hit saturation. Third, as technology advances, Apple may find it more difficult to differentiate its products from rivals, resulting in falling profits and stagnant volumes. Apple's Valuation Metrics Despite such concerns, AAPL retains significant competitive advantages due to its world-renowned brand, vast financial resources, an empire of top-tier engineer and artist professionals. They will almost certainly continue to fuel innovation and captivate customers. Finally, Apple is one of the world's largest businesses and is anticipated to expand its earnings per share growth rate by around 10% in the near future, with strong stock buybacks and massive investment in innovation. Is Apple stock a buy right now? Apple stock is not currently a buy, but it may become one shortly. Judging by IBD MarketSmith charts, AAPL stock has formed a cup base with a purchase point of 137.17. After trading below the crucial level for nearly a month, it has moved above its 50-day moving average line, which is a good indication. AAPL stock, however, has an IBD accumulation distribution rating of D, signifying institutional selling of shares. Simply keep a watch on the stock market as a whole. If the market begins to fall, don't try to deviate from the primary stock market trend. And besides, the purchase of the stock will rely on your diversification of portfolios and risk tolerance. As always, trade with money you can afford to lose. That ends our video for today. I hope all your questions got covered. If you have anything to share, just comment down below. And don't forget to leave this video a like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you at the next one.